Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Phil from Practical Media 101. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress inside of your Amazon AWS web server. In order to follow along this video, you must have an Amazon AWS account. So if you don't already have an account in the free tier, then I suggest that you watch the video in the I button and you will, you will learn exactly how to create that account. And once you watch that, you can come back and refer to this video. So to get started, basically what you need to do is that once you create the account, you need to get into this particular console right here. You need to log in and you will be redirected into this page right here. It will be the home. Now, all these options won't be appearing to you once you log in for the first time. So what you need to do is that you need to come up into this search bar and you need to put down EC2. Now, once you have done that, just click on this and uh, you need to come into the in instances running state. Just click on that. Now, as you can see, I don't have any instances that are running currently. Let me just clear out that filter. I have one, one instance there. I do not need this instance, so I'll just go ahead and terminate this. Okay. And while this is shutting down, I basically need to launch a new instance with WordPress installed on it. So what I will do is that I will just come here and click on launch instances. And I basically need to name my instance. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it test server. Now I will be scrolling down and I'll click on browse more AMIs. And from here, I will click on Bitnami. I'll basically type in Bitnami. Sorry, not click on. Okay, let me enter that and I'll come here in AWS Marketplace AMIs. And uh, from here, WordPress certified by Bitnami, I'll just select on this and I'll click on continue. Now make sure you select this one, the, the one that appears first, all the rest of the ones that don't really have good development. So I do not suggest that you use them. And uh, now pay attention here because this part is uh, very important as well. Now, in order to avoid any charges to like incur on your account, you basically need to select this instance instance type and uh, like uh, select the t2.micro, which is free tier enabled. So you wouldn't actually incur a charge if you uh, launch this kind of instance. So once that's been done, you have to come here and generate a, a key pair. So you can create a new key pair here. You can put in a name for the key pair. Like I will like basically just put in test server. And uh, just one minute. Okay. And I'll just click on create key pair. Now the key pair will be saved on my desktop. Make sure that you keep this key pair safe because whenever you are going to be needing to do some kind of troubleshooting with this instance and if you have your website on there then you will need this key pair so make sure to keep this like safe now once that's been done i'll just go down and within the configure storage section i will just going to increase this from 10 gb to 30 gb and once everything is done i'll just check if everything is correct or not now the rest of the things you don't really need to do anything on that now i'll simply come here and click on launch instance now as you can see the instance is launching it would take a little bit time but please be patient while it's happening okay so it's a success now i'll just come back to the instances stage now as i'm able to see the earlier instance has been terminated so let's forget about that. But the new instance that we have launched, it's currently pending in status. So it's going to activate in a little bit of time. So let's wait for about a minute or two till this happens. All right, so the instance seems to be working right now and uh, now it's functioning. So basically we can start doing the rest of the stuff. Now, one thing that you need to make sure is that in order to continue, whenever you are launching an instance of your own, basically you need to verify that the instance state within instance state, the instance is actually running and the status check, both of the checks have been passed. You have to ensure these two things before we proceed into the further sections or else uh, it, it will not work. So next thing which we need to do is that we need to check out this website on the front end just to verify if WordPress was actually installed or not. So what we need to do is that I'll just click here on the instance and I'll come into this section and this is actually the web server link for the instance. So I'll just click here 
and i'll be redirected now of course i will have an error because there is an an ssl certificate has not been enabled on this so i will have like this connection is not private error but uh, that's no problem just click on advanced and click on proceed so yeah i will be redirected right here now as you can see the this is a wordpress website with the 2023 theme enabled on it now we need to get the details in order to log in into this wordpress website so where are we going to find it from basically we need to come back into this instance and uh, from inside of here we need to come into the actions section click on monitor and troubleshoot get system log once inside of here we basically need to come here and scroll a little bit upwards now as you will be able to see here's the application password and username provided here so i'll just copy the password and by default the username is always going to be user so you don't really need to worry about that so i'll just put in the wp admin login path here put down user in the username and login by putting in the password and as you are able to see i was able to log in inside of the wordpress website that i installed inside of ec2 instance in aws so that's how you basically install wordpress inside of amazon aws if you like the video consider giving it a thumbs up subscribing to the channel turning on your bell notifications uh, thank you so much for watching and have a good day